Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, today we're going to have a look at the orchid and uh, to share some uh, some of my experiences about uh, how to grow the orchid. Well, there are so many different orchids. I've been trying different orchids. So today I want to talk with you about this orchid. Usually, I don't know how do you call it at your home or in your country, but usually in my country we call it the butterfly orchid. Why it's called butterfly orchid? I don't know. They call it like that. I've tried this orchid for many different times, at least five or six different times. And um, I didn't always succeed. Then I found out the reasons why I failed before. The reason I failed before is because of the temperature and the humidity. And uh, this is two key important things. If you pay attention to it, you are very likely to succeed. So let's talk about it. Usually, originally, from what I know, I looked on the wiki, they say this kind of orchid, they don't grow in the mud, they don't grow in the earth, they grow in the tree, and uh, they don't take any nutrition from the earth, they take it from the air, which is very interesting. Originally, it grows in the tree, in the tropical area, so that means that we have to pay a, a bit attention, that means it likes humidity and heat, but it does not like sunshine, which is very interesting. So before I've tried in China and uh, I didn't grow well, then we come to France and uh, I found it out it's easy to grow and I found it out the reason is the, the humidity and the temperature. So you, you can usually find these about around 20 depending on the size, sometimes on sale 10 euro, 20 euro, big ones depending on the different types. But when you come back you can always see it in a small pot like this. This is my wife bought for the from botanic. I didn't ask the price. I think it's about twenty euro or something to give to the teacher at the end of the semester. And to take it, it's last day today, so it's going to give to the teacher as a gift. And usually, people usually I see a lot of people, even my friends of my wife, they say, "Oh no, it dies next year." Only a few of them succeed. And when you get it out, if you want it next year to grow well or something, I tried to this plant to put in the earth. Uh, to give to make it well it works but it dies slowly but then I found it out I did this for my mother-in-law is to do it in a different way so if you want it uh, in a good flower next year you don't need to do a lot of things I think you just need to take it out of the pot actually if you pay attention when you bought this kind of orchid it does not grow in the earth it's in some box you see that? There's no earth, it's just in some box. Some tree box or something like that. It doesn't need the earth. So if you want it to grow well, what you need to do is to when the flowers fade in, you cut the dry up branches. Sometimes it, it even come from a new branch come from here to grow leaves. That's very possible. So what you need to do is take it out, put in a bigger pot like this or something, but you need to uh, make some holes to let the water goes away. Put more box or or ferns or so dry leaves or something like that and then change the pot and keep it in good temperature when I talk about the temperature that means it prefers to be more than 25 degrees if it is more than 25 degrees that's my feeling I didn't do the tester so it keeps on growing and keep it always keep it in moisture and the shadow very likely it will grow well next year but in the winter when the temperature is below 20 you have to be careful because it doesn't like I think before it dies because of um, it's low temperature so keep it in humidity keep it in heat keep give it more things in the to keep the root to be in moisture it will grow back next year okay i'll well, see you next time guys lovely lovely butterfly key uh, orchid Peace out.